on to a brand new Pokemon Go video. Today we're at a brand new spot. You can see on the sign behind us called Winnish Meadows. It's actually opposite a park called Dinton Park to go to very, yeah. very often. I think I lost, but one video is actually yeah. We tried to get some shiny magic up, no luck. That hunt technically does continue today. But on top of that, there is uh, some chicken around here. Yeah. So we're hoping to maybe get the Meganium evolution today, depending on how successful those spawns go. And on top of that, a few things I can guarantee you guys. We're both on seven day streaks, aren't we? Yes, we are. So that means both Claire and I are getting seven day evolution items, which is very, very exciting. One thing I do want to say is I apologize. There hasn't been as much Pokemon Go videos recently. A lot of you guys have been tweeting me saying, where are the Pokemon Go videos? And there hasn't been as many as I would want. We're actually looking for a house yeah, at the moment, aren't we? It and it's taking up time. hours and hours, if not whole days. And at the moment, it just means that we're trading that time for house viewing where we would love to go Pokemon Go hunting. But we've made time today, guys, and I'm so excited. So, guys, we've got a seven day streak. I've got a 10 kilometer egg hatch, maybe even two today. We've got Chikoritas to catch, and also a rare wild spawn that happened near our home but didn't quite go to plan. If you guys are excited, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully, today's going to be really successful. Let's play Pokemon Go. So guys, as we head towards our first poke stop of the day with obviously that seven day streak and I've been walking off that Porygon to get an upgrade, I don't mind anymore because I'm pretty damn close being able to do the Porygon 2 evolution. Obviously Metacoat would be my favourite, favouritest evolution item that I could get from the seven day streak. But as we're walking there and it isn't near a poke stop, a little Chikorita has popped on in which is amazing and we can update our candy count as well and see just how close his Eevee sprints by. Wait, I used a Raspberry. I should be using pinups. Oh my gosh, I still have a decent amount of pinups. Obviously, last episode was super successful with that Typhlosion evolution being our first Gen 2 starter evolution from beginning all the way up to its third stage, which is amazing. And we got three candies rather than six, and it was also really low CP. Ali, you absolute idiot. It's okay though, we're at 58 candies. That's why I said I'm not sure. Maybe we'll get a Meganium today, maybe we won't. It will literally be up to how good the spawns are. But I also mentioned to you guys I had a really rare spawn near the house as I was walking Eevee. Honestly, that little grass spot where I walk Eevee is so, so good. And I actually have glasses today, guys. It is really sunny. I have glasses to protect my eyes, so I'm not gonna be blinded every time I talk to you. So I was walking Eevee and an Alakazam Bearing in mind that is a rare, I've never seen a wild Alakazam ever, was on my nearby list and I picked up my camera and I actually started vlogging it. So let's see how I got on trying to hunt down a wild Alakazam. All right guys, so we just come home from actually looking at some houses and whenever we get home, walk Eevee on the patch of grass very close to where we live, I always check Pokemon Go. And this is a pretty rare spawn. There is a wild Alakazam nearby, which is pretty damn good. So let's try and hunt this guy down. So actually, that, that's what happened. I drove to where it was. It was literally on a road next to our road. Pulled out my phone, didn't have any signal, managed to then get signal like one bar of 3G and it had gone. I'd missed, I freaking lost out on an Alakazam, a wild Alakazam. And then absolutely randomly, the next day, in the exact same spot we walk Eevee, and I'll show you guys on screen now, a Kadabra appeared on, on our screen. And I don't think I've had a Kadabra spawn in since London when it ran from me. And we're talking like six months ago here. So the whole family came out, Kadabra, Alakazam, unfortunately missed out on them obviously, but it would have been an amazing wild capture had I been successful. I had to fill you guys in on that. I was so annoyed. Anyway, let's head towards our seven day streak. Fingers crossed for me, we can get that metal coat or anything but a dragon scale actually would be amazing. So let's go do it. <laughs> vlogging just behind that bench there and I totally didn't realize we actually had walked onto a poke stop with two chikoritas on it so we're going to grab both of these Claire's hatching some 5k eggs behind her so hopefully she gets some good luck oh here we where, where's it, where's it, what's it, what's it what is it doing are you okay chikorita you're literally on your side what on okay it's sorting itself out guys obviously the little candies pop out of it now as well so hopefully if we can get it we're going to get those extra candies too and if we, Ali, sort yourself out. I'm, I'm so surprised. Some of you guys are actually telling me off using AR. You're like, Ali, don't bother using AR if you can't hit the throws. I just think it looks so much cooler when I'm showing you guys the video and you can actually see where the Pokemon is and where we're walking. You may be able to hear the road behind us. It is such a busy road, but such a gorgeous day. We've been blessed with amazing weather at the moment. Six more candies, putting us at 64. I'm gonna grab this guy as well. Never been here, as I said before. I think this is like um, a spot that has never really had great spawns, unfortunately. Now, the day of recording, we've actually had all of the nests switch up, and there was gonna be a Chikorita nest a lot closer to home that we're gonna go to, but 
I, I need to like, remember every two weeks that the nests always switch. Come on, give us this already. Oh, look at that. Straight away, both of these chicken eaters were taught, caught with 12 extra candies. 70 now is really, really good. So, I didn't actually show you guys our Porygon progress. He's at 43 candies. I mean, he only needs seven more until I can get myself that Porygon to. And being only three kilometers per candy is such a good distance. Nowhere near the five I needed for my man, Larvitar, who I'm still walking off, obviously. This is my egg situation right now. I've got a 10K egg that I've already hatched, like, before this episode, which I'll show you guys in a second. We've got a few 2Ks, 5Ks, only a single 10K, unfortunately. I don't know if I'll hatch today. It depends how much walking we do. But let's catch up on that 10K, okay, guys? So... Obviously, uh, for those of you guys that don't know, egg distribution now is like um, distributed so 10Ks aren't necessarily rarer than 2Ks. It's the Pokemon within those eggs that define whether or not they're rare. So, for example, you could get a Dratini in a 10K, and that's actually considered quite a common 10K, but then you could get a Porygon from a 5K, and that's considered really, really rare. So you've just hatched some eggs, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I hatched three 5K eggs. Yes. I'm really hoping for a Porygon. Oh, see, I'm, that's still rare. That's the second one ever, isn't yeah. it? So I was just saying how egg distribution is a little bit different now and how 10Ks aren't necessarily rarer than a 2 or 5K, but it's the Pokemon you're actually getting from it. So we've got a lot of 10Ks recently. Yeah. I think I hatched three or four Pinecos in a row. So I'm about to show the 10K egg hatch on screen now. I'm excited. Is it going to be a Larvitar? Is it going to be my first Marie? Out pops another freaking pine coat. So annoying, guys. So annoying. But I think it's time for both Claire and I to spin our seven day streak. I've got it recording. Shall I give it a go? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good luck, vibes. I've okay. come here just to give you the vibes. Thank you so much, Evie. Evie's giving me the vibes. Evie's from down. Yeah, down can you see Evie down there just a little bit? Yeah. The giving vibes. I can feel them. They're strong. She okay. So strong. Guys. Give us good luck, smash that thumbs up button, metal coat, anything but a dragon scale, maybe even two evolution items. Oh, I don't have a dragon scale. Never, yeah, 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 that would work you, wouldn't it? Let's see. Sunstone! Sunstone! But could it be another one? Just a sunstone? What are we? Hey! hey that's that's amazing, awesome. though. That's so, so good. Do you have so any of those little odd Sharina? So I have everything all ready to go for a sunstone, which is amazing. What about sunstone? That's a really good point. So we've got a sunstone, guys, which gives us two evolution options. I'm not sure about Sunkern. I know I can do Oddish into Blossom, or Oddish into Gloom into Blossom, but can I do Sunkern? I'm not sure. So guys, just about to check the Sunkern can. He's a little Exactu spawned in, and you know what? We don't see many of those in the wild. It's still a decent one. I'm going to get him just for that 300, um, uh, 300 uh, Stardust, obviously. Yeah, we've started catching so many more Pokemon just with Stardust. It's so good, moment. though. It's a good little trick, and it means that if, if I got that Alakazam, I'd already told him I've missed out on Alakazam, yeah. by the way. If I got that, it'd be a beautiful 500 Stardust. So, hopefully it's exactly, yeah, there we go. It's actually being great, capturing in nice and easily. Because I can always pronounce it like just that. Exactly. Yeah. Honestly, you know what I'm like with pronouncing names. I'm probably wrong. But I'm not much better. <laughs> so guys, sun cans, we've only got two of them, and I think all of these we caught in LA pretty yeah. much. 30 candies. So, unless I catch like three or, or four sun cans, buddy. or making my buddy, it's definitely a Blossom evolution today. Unless we get lucky with sun cans, who knows? We're going to continue hunting for Chikoritas, add Sunkerns to our list of Pokemon we want to try and capture today, and maybe we'll be able to do that evolution as well. So guys, if you take a look at my screen now, there's two Chikoritas. I'm actually not going for them, and I'll explain in a second. I don't know if you guys saw it. I'm going to try and get, get the clip. Claire's filming this beautiful cinematic shot of a flower, and pans up to me, and I'm just like... No! I accidentally no! clicked up on a Pokemon Go Plus to catch a Chikorita. It didn't work, so I missed out on one. But the reason I head this way first, Sunkern, baby. Honestly, there aren't many of them here in the UK, so it's definitely a rarity. If I can get this one, it will technically give me seven candies. Six for the capture... <laughs> even without... Even without AR, I'm throwing like an absolute dirt head. Six for the capture. Seven for obviously discarding him, and I guess another one I can get an eight candy. I've got two sun kerns. Come on! Yes! Okay, amazing. That's why I headed that white way and didn't get those two chikoritas. So now let's backtrace ourselves onto these two chikoritas. They should be there. There's one. Come on, buddy. Come back in. Come back in. Don't say you've despawned. They should be both on top of each other. I don't believe it, guys. The second one's gone. We've just missed him by literally because I went to get the sun kern. Oh. 
Should I got the Sunken? Should I got the Chikorita? I don't know, but I'm not letting the second one disappear as well. All right, guys, I think this is the most makeshift stand I've ever made for my camera <laughs> to record a Pokemon capture. So in terms of IVs, I'm actually looking for a Wonder Chikorita. I already have a really good CP Chikorita, about 621, I believe, which has certainly caught that my attention, or my, or my Mystic Gym Leader attention, I guess, which is definitely good, but if we can get a Wonder, it will beat that. And hey, I caught that Chikorita straight I, swear, I can't believe that was that easy. I think there's meant to be another one. <gasps> 2K eggs. There's meant to be another Chikorita around here somewhere, but it could be. If you guys see behind me, there's actually some guys playing some football in the field. Uh, it could be a net. You may not be able to access it, but 2Ks? I didn't think I had 2Ks that close to hatching, so I could have some 2s and 5s. Let's see if we can pull Claire over and maybe get lucky. So Claire's just informed me that when she caught the other Chikorita over there, one disappeared and another one appeared? Yeah, a little bit further away. Okay, so we're going to have to go back and check that out. Let's do these 2Ks first. <gasps> Obviously, Togepi, I think, is the only thing we want at the moment, guys. I know. Is it? Oh my god, it is actually. Oh, <gasps> Iggly oh, bar. I totally thought it was like nice, like flower petals, and it's not. It it's actually not. flies. It's like, I don't know what they are, but they're pretty big. Horrible. It's pea yeah. drills everywhere. <laughs> okay, so baby Pokemon's not too bad. Second two kilometer. We'd have to get so lucky. Come on. Come on. No. no. Not what we need. I think, it, unless the five Ks are grouped together. Oh yeah, they have. Okay, we've got two five Ks. So two two Ks, two five Ks. Porygon! Oh. oh my gosh, guess what I hatched from one of mine earlier? What? Drowsy. No! I was mad. Do you remember though how common Drowsy were when no. Gen 1 first came out? They definitely toned it down a little they bit, haven't they? They because they were so annoying. I think this is my final one. Yeah, I hate them. Bun Drowsies. Hypnos used to be the best like evolution you could do right at the beginning of the game. <gasps> Oh, oh, Volpix is cool. Volpix is, is cool. Is it two Ks or five Ks? Two Ks. Okay, five Ks. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, the eggs aren't stopping. You got Volpix is a pretty yeah. rare. They aren't one of the most common in five Ks. So it's a lucky one. Oh, Ghastly. I still love Ghastly, but it's not exactly what I want. And that's all they wrote. So we're trying to hunt down. That other Chikorita, the Fet said it could be, unfortunately, in the football field. But I may run back and try and get the one that Claire said spawned on her as well. But the hunt's going pretty well, guys. We're getting there. So guys, this has been a, such a good spawn spot, but a little bit of a random Pokemon spawned in a pine cone. Despite the fact they are so common from 10Ks, I don't think I've ever, ever caught one out in the wild. So I'm gonna get this guy just for a few bonus candies, because I think if I get this guy, it's gonna roll me over to close to 100 Pineco candies. I've also attempted to catch four Chikoritas since I last saw you guys. I recorded three of them as we get our Pineco, putting us dead on 100 candies, which is pretty cool. So on screen now, I'm gonna play all three of the Chikorita catches all at the same time and let you guys, you know, see what's gonna happen. Am I gonna get them? Am I not gonna get them? We are on top of a Pokestop. Let's spin this bad boy. Ooh, a 2K. Not quite an evolution item, which would have been unreal. So as you can see guys, I caught two of those Chikoritas. One of them ran away, which is so annoying. However, if you look on my screen now, I'm at 106. I think Meganium is happening today. I did not expect this straight after a Typhlosion evolution, but it's looking good guys. We only need a few more. So guys, this is actually my first Magic Harp spawn of the day. Unfortunately, no luck. The hunt continues, my friends. Let me know down below if you got a shiny Magic Harp yet. Currently the only shiny in the game, alongside shiny Gyarados, obviously when you evolve a shiny Magic Harp, and I'm hoping they add more shinies very soon. So guys, the sun is setting, as you can see, it is about to go very, very dark here, but the spawn point has treated us so well, up until about 20 minutes ago. Look at this. Not a single Chikorita on the nearby list. However, if my math serves me correctly, I believe by the exact candy, no more, no less, I can do the Meganium evolution as long as I transfer every other Chikorita that I have. So, we're gonna head home, we're gonna do the big bad boy evolution, and also work out what we're gonna do with our Sunstone. So let's head back, let's do some awesome evolutions. So guys, we are home and it's time for two awesome evolutions, using the Sunstone, yeah, and also Meganium. So we have got two for you guys. 
little Easter with a little nappy on has come to join us as well. Now you may notice we're actually wearing different clothes. It's actually the day after and believe it or not, we actually managed to catch a Chikorita while we're out viewing houses. So I've got a little bit more candies than I originally had. So that's good luck, that's isn't it? That's pretty good, yeah. Now poor Claire here didn't quite get enough candies. Even with today's, I'm Even at with today. Oh, so close. And you also have a sunstone. Yeah. But not enough candies for that. This is, this, I don't know why you got me to join you for this. Cause this Just is to try me painful. You don't experience it oh, with me. Here's what you could have. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now the first thing we're going to do is the sunstone evolution. So I've got two options here. I actually have a really high CP oddish that certainly caught uh, her attention. But then I've also checked, I've got a 95% IV oddish. 95, 95. So it's too good not to. we're going to go with the 95. So I've got 400 and uh, 12 candies. But wow. I should have given you some I, of the candies. If only you could share candies. I know, I would have given you some. I could have given you half. I wouldn't even mind. Aww. So this is my second ever evolution item evolution. The only other one I've got has been a uh, dragon scale. I have never had a random evolution item. I don't I understand do. that. There's a two, I've had none. So this is now the gloom at 95% IV and it is ready for the sunstone evolution. Do you know if it's a good multiplier? I, do you want to tap it? Do you want to give it a go yeah, again? I'm going to let Claire do the honors. Bam. So I don't think the multiplier is too not. good. Yeah, it literally ate the sunstone. <laughs> However, Sunkern, I was saying this to Claire the other day, Sunkern is a really good evolution into uh, multiplier into Sunflora, yeah. but I don't have enough candy for it, unfortunately. Oh, Look at creepy. that, Blossom. I don't think the CP is going to be great, guys, but it is a new entry it to the Pokedex. It never really is with the cute ones, no. is there? They're always a little bit weak. They look great. Oh, 1,100 with Acid and Petal Blizzard. That's quite cool. I think that's a decent uh, move set. And she is quite cool. She's one of those Pokemon that would be quite fun to have around. I like a hula skirt. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Claire likes it. I'm not going to power it up. You would need a lot of candies and a lot of stardust. It's something I'll do over time, I think, because I have room for it. I have room for it. So, that means we are left with the Meganium Evolution. So, guys, prior to catching that bonus chicory today, I had enough candies, like the exact enough candies to this evolution. Uh, like I was so so lucky, but I haven't got rid of any of them. I haven't got rid of all of them yet Actually, I think this has saved me. I'm gonna get rid of every single one of these chikoritas. None of them are wonders Unfortunately, we have got that baby that we caught an island. 17. Yeah, I know the worst CP <laughs> could have had but a really cool wild spawn. So I'm gonna transfer all of those guys that's now gonna leave you with 129. So that is definitely enough, and we're gonna do the evolution chain. The cool thing is, this Chikorita is really high up on the CP scale, so I'm gonna try and power him up. Okay. Maybe fully he, power him up. Super, do we know how strong Meganium can get? Um, Typhlosion was okay. Yeah, my IV Typhlosion was shocking though, unfortunately, so he kind of was held back a little bit. So there's um, Bailey, who we've already had. Um, I think it can get to about 2,400, 2,500 okay, okay. potentially. So, guys, brand new evolution. I just realized I'm only gonna power up one. Oh, so even yeah. if I wanted to, That's I can't. True. So guys, I'm a thousand CP. It's still called Chikorita. I'll change it in a second. Good job we didn't do the pre. Uh, oh god. Pre oh baby, don't. Oh, I could. I would have cried. I literally would have cried. All right, CP predictions. Um, two, uh, one, one thousand eight, seven hundred fifty-two. Two thousand one hundred fifty-eight. I'm going high. I'm going high. That Look at high. that, guys. We're getting hey. you. So cool. What are we saying? Oh, you were dead on. One thousand. 758. Wow. I, I think I, I did. I think you did. Whoa. Oh my god. What did I get? You get <laughs> a kiss. Thank you. That's what we get, unfortunately. Did you, did you see that? Annoyingly, look at its moveset. Oh, really? that's like my typhlosion has a. I think it might so have it a. Yes, yeah, so would it be. Oh, I, if this guy would have had so it would be perfect. So there's Meganium. I can give it one power up, guys. A little bit sad, unfortunately. Because of the fact you don't get starting Pokemon from eggs. You just don't get any candies or any of them. They're really rare. I'm not saying how rare they are. It's not easy to get. That is so awesome. So guys, we take a look. Actually, at Totodile, the final evolution I need to do to get Free Alligator, we're at 89 candies. So that one's it's close to do. Yeah. So we could have three episodes in a row. We get Typhlosion, Meganium today, and maybe Free Alligator next episode. In terms of total Pokemon, I've now got 217. Nice. Pretty solid. I'm, I'm quite close. So if you look at the Gen 2 uh, Pokedex, it's getting filled up really Really, really nice. I need those evolution items. Yeah. Really, I know Steelix, Sizzle, Porygon, Blissey, and I haven't had. I think I got so lucky with two lava yeah. hatches. I haven't had one since, guys. I've been really lucky. Claire hasn't had a single one. I haven't had a Mareep. I really want a Mareep. So, the final things I'll show you guys is that, that 10k is very close to hatching, actually. In fact, those 2k's are very close to hatching as well. So, we've got a 10k prepped. 
for next episode and if you try and find Meganium, where are you, where are you, where are you? Oh my oh, gosh, quite far down. so far down guys. Oh. But hey, a really good episode. Another great, great, two great, great evolutions actually. Hopefully you guys really, really enjoy it. We want to try and fill as many Pokemon Go episodes as possible. But we're so busy at the moment, so don't worry, there will be more soon. We love filming them, we still love Pokemon Go. Keep an eye out for them. So, if you enjoyed, give it a big fat thumbs up from Evie, Claire, and I. Thank you for watching, guys. It's been amazing. We'll see you very soon Bye. with another Pokemon Go video.